Hey, my crafty friends. Welcome to Silhouette Thursday for March 2014. Um, today we're going to talk about the modify button and we're going to talk about it. It's right up here. Um, and we're actually going to talk just about this first box in this video. We're going to talk about this first box first. So we're going to cover weld, intersect, subtract, crop, subtract all, and divide. So let's go ahead and clear our mat and come back and we're going to start with the simple weld. Okay, so we're starting with the weld button. So just the simplest way to explain it, and most of you know about weld, let's just say I want to make a recipe card. And so I go ahead and I make my recipe card, and I but I want a little tab. I don't want to have to put on tabs. I want it to have a solid tab for itself. So I'm going to take this a circle and I'm going to just have it cover part of my recipe card here and I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Now that you have your half circle overlapping we want to weld these two pieces which means it's going to connect the two pieces um, and make them one going around the outside of the edge. So what you're going to see is this half of the circle disappear when I click weld. And it welded those two images where it overlapped. And so now you see the other half of the circle that was not attached and it becomes your little tab. And so now you have room to write breads and put all your recipes for breads right behind it. That's the function of the weld key. Okay, I'm going to show you one other really quick thing with the weld um, key. So let me zoom in. You may know this um, image because it's one of the 50 free images that came with your silhouette. So let's say I want to make a card out of this. It's not actual size. Um, and okay, we're going to just mirror it above. And you see how like those lines are basically overlapping. I'm going back to my modify button. I'm selecting both of those images and I'm clicking weld. And do you see what it did? It made it this one piece. So now I can fold that piece. I can move this piece image over once I cut out all the parts and everything. And I'll be able to overlap it. Whoops, if I can get it straight. And now I can fold down and now I have a specific shape size card by just welding two of the like images together. And weld is a great function, whether you're using it for letters, whether you're using it for images to create new shapes. Right. The weld button in the modify section is a great tool. Okay, now let's talk about the intersect button. And what the intersect button does in the modify window is the two parts of your image that are overlapping or that are intersecting is the thing that's going to remain once you're done. So you're like, huh? What does that mean? Okay, let me show you. We're going to make a circle. And then I'm going to make another circle. Okay, and they're not exactly the same size, but let's just pretend that they are for this purpose. And let's say I want to make a leaf. I want to I want to design my own leaf and I want it to have that little kind of oval pear shape. What intersect is going to do, again, is that this overlapping piece right here is what's going to remain of these two things once I've done it. So I've made my overlapping. The thing in the middle, the thing that intersects is the shape I want. You go ahead and do intersect and now you have the shape that could be used for a leaf and I'm going to go ahead and whoops fill that in for you so that you can see my leaf and that's one way here's another way we're going to go ahead and we're going to take two boxes let's say you want to make a triangle or something close to it For this one, because I want to make a triangle kind of, but clearly with soft edges, a triangular shape, 
I took these two squares and I'm going to fill them in with color just so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to make them both, I'm going to make one red, one orange. Okay, it's going to be the overlapping part that's going to stay. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to go to intersect, and you see, I've now kept that triangle shape. So the intersect is good for combining two things and trying to create a shape that maybe you can't freehand draw or a shape for an image that you want, but it's the two, it's the overlapping sections that will remain once you hit that button. Okay guys, let's talk about subtract. The way subtract works is that whatever the frontmost layer is laying over an object, it will subtract out. Now we talked about this if you looked at um, the video making the slider card when we made a notch. So as you can see from this, and I colored in the square so you could see it better, the red circle is over the green square. So if I come and I select those two things, the frontmost thing, the red square, when I click subtract, is gonna subtract and completely disappear. And it takes out that little piece right there. So let me just undo that for a second and then make my square. I'm gonna bring the square to the front and I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna make a little Pac-Man kind of thing. And so now my square is in the front. I'm just gonna select that and hit subtract. And do you see now I have my little Pac-Man almost? Because whatever, whatever image is the front most, it's gonna subtract whatever is overla overlapping the back image. Let me show you one more thing with, um, the um, subtract button. And I made a little pattern here with our blue dots and our, I mean our blue square and our brown dots. I'm just having a time with my shapes. So as you can see, the brown circles or dots are on front of this blue square. So it almost looks like a little three, half kind of three dial, not three dial, like a tile, like a tile at the top of a domino tile. So if I wanna subtract that out because I want my front of my card base to have these three circles in it, I can go ahead and just highlight everything and click subtract. And it's going to cut out, it's gonna subtract out those three brown circles because they were the frontmost image, okay? You could see those on top of the blue. So whatever, whatever image, is on top and is overlapping the back image, it's going to subtract. And that's how you use your subtract button to make either different shapes or make different patterns on your cards. Okay, while we're talking about subtract, let's look at subtract all and figure out the difference between the subtract we just dealt with and subtract all. And it, it, they work almost in a similar fashion, except for this one important thing. Again, whatever the frontmost image is, it is going to subtract from whatever it's overlaying, whatever part is overlaying. The difference with subtract all is it's going to take all of the shape from the piece behind, just like it did with subtract, except it's going to keep the frontmost piece. Huh? What? Shaggy? Okay, let me show you what I mean. You can see that my green square is in the back and my red circle is overlapping. So let's just select the two of those things and click subtract all. Now you're looking at it going, well, you click subtract all, but nothing happened. Yes, it did. It subtracted all of the shape that was overlapping but it kept the first shape. You're like, what? Why would I want this shape? I thought I was just subtracting it all. Let's say you're doing a project where you're stacking and you're making a shape and it's gonna be stacked, but you don't want it to be bulky. You kinda want your card front to be flat 
and you, you know, you're cutting out these shapes. So let's just say I make that brown circle and I put it over the red circle and I'm gonna do the same thing, subtract all. You notice your brown is still there. So now if I go ahead and I'm making a project where I wanna stack these, I wanna not stack them, but I wanna make it look like they're stacked without the bulk is what I should say. I can go ahead and I can do that and look. It's now one flat layer, but it gives the uh, 3D illusion of being stacked on top of each other because we've just sele select, subtracted all, but retained that first shape. So that's how subtract all is different from subtract. It still takes away from the back image, but it still retains the first image. Um, as you can see here. And that's subtract all. Okay, now let's talk about crop. And crop is exactly what you think crop is, and this is how it functions in Silhouette. I opened up a picture in here because let's say I plan on cutting this particular photograph and uh, you know, I made this cake and I don't want all this other stuff I want the silhouette of my cake to come out. So I want to crop it to get as little as that background in there as possible. So I've made this circle. I'm going to go ahead and put it over my image because what it's going to do is it's going to crop and keep the area where there's um, two or more things that are overlapping. So my circle is overlapping that photograph and I'm going to select both images and then I'm going to select crop. So this is a way when you have pictures that you want to cut out with this particular shape, whether it's a star shape or a um, box shape or some other kind of shape where you want to crop that photograph, you're going to be able to crop the photograph or the piece of paper or whatever it is down to what you want. And that's how crop works. Okay, let's talk about divide. Now divide is gonna let you or allow you to overlap eight separate pieces and it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's gonna divide out all the things that um, overlap. So let's say you have a picture on there, you get one of the um, images and you want to um, make it almost like a puzzle piece, but you want to make your own unique puzzle piece. You can go ahead and as you can see my green is layered right here and I'm going to highlight all of those pieces and I'm going to click divide. It retains all of the pieces, but now, as you can see, I can break them apart like a little explosion box, okay? And the pieces that were overlapping all break apart, and you can see the cut lines. And let me zoom in so that you can see the cut lines. And you can see all the cut lines there, where it now breaks apart to this thing that you can put back together. Very cool. Okay guys, we've covered the first six buttons in the modify window. I hope that gave um, everyone a little bit more information about the modify button. I'm sure there are much more things that you can do um, with the buttons in the modify window, but I'm of the, keep it simple. <laughs> That's what I know how to do and I figured I would share it with you just in case you were wondering and really hadn't played with um, the modify buttons. Remember, you just don't have to work with the boxes and the circles. If you have shapes in your library, stars, Christmas trees, um, different things that you want to subtract out or subtract all or use for an image to crop around something, go ahead and use those images. That's what they're there for. But just know that you can take your rectangles and your circles and use those as well.